Whew. Not fun. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. First I want to say thank you for watching my video today. In today's video it's all going to be about river prep. I live in the Southern California and the river is about 250 miles away. I got to get the truck ready. I need some wiper blades, some other little small miscellaneous things, but today we're actually going to be installing my transmission cooler finally. Uh, this is a True Cool Max transmission cooler. I've seen a couple videos online of people installing these and uh, it seems fairly easy. I do have one challenge, one concern coming up as far as the installation goes, but we'll get there as we're working because I'm kind of not sure if it applies to this cooler. So yeah, that'll take some figuring out. We're going to have to jump right into it. I only pretty much have one day to do this. I might be able to finish it tomorrow, but I'd rather get it done today and have all the time in the world to test it make sure it's not leaking. We'll go ahead and jump right into taking the grill out of the truck and getting ready to mock up the transmission cooler. So we got the grill off and the light bar out. And as you can see, I'm not I don't have too much room to work with. The new cooler pretty much takes up all the gap from here to here. One thing that is cool is this bracket for the factory cooler looks like I could reuse it. I once I get this all apart, I want to see if maybe I could just flip it over and without any cutting, this might clear right here which would also move it down a little bit, so it'd center the transmission cooler, which might give me more clearance for my light bar, which would be nice instead of having to remount my light bar, but we'll worry about that later. The only other concern I have is the hardline cooler lines and the rubber lines. If the bottom of the cooler is here, that means those lines have to come up and kind of go like this. It's gonna be a little concerning. I'm a little worried. We'll have to figure it out, but either way, this has to get replaced today. I'm gonna to get to planning and figure out what I need to buy as far as hardware and bracketry, because I do have to make a bracket that's gonna support the top of it. So I think I'm gonna use these factory holes when that's out, and I'm gonna, it'll probably need about a two inch wide strip of aluminum, and I'll go ahead and figure out how to do that coming up here shortly. Time to cut some shit.
What's going on guys, it's now the next day. Uh, so last night, basically, I finished up fabricating the upper bracket. Uh, I got it painted, it's currently drying, and is just gonna need a clear coat uh, before we can install it. So while I'm waiting for the clear coat to dry, I finally removed the old transmission cooler and get it ready and get the lower bracket and, and the truck, basically everything ready to install the new one. Odd, the transmission cooler doesn't really dump a lot of fluid, which would lead me to believe that when the truck cools, the fluid actually kind of calms down out of it. So, yeah, that's a little weird. Correction on that one when I just took it out and went to dump it into my oil catch, uh, a lot of oil came out of that. So, actually, no, there is still a lot of fluid in that. I was mistaken. That's why we do this. Okay, time to start it and check the leaks. Okay, and a mild, uh, mild little leak right on that fitting, but i pretty sure I already said earlier in the video that um, when I installed it, I didn't want to like over tighten it, so this was actually kind of expected, so so far so good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add fluid. I like to use the Kestrel. Uh, but all the trucks of this here need the Dexron, Dex, Dexron uh, 6. So don't be putting anything else in your uh, 03 to 07 Silverado. I'm not sure what the later ones take, but yeah, Dexron 6. Well, <clears throat> seems not to be leaking, but I'm going to leave it running just to check. So while it's running and heating up and not leaking. I'm gonna go ahead and try and refit my light bar and hopefully I don't have to change that too. Yeah that's not gonna fit. What's going on everybody? It's now two days later, I think, from the from the last bit of footage you just watched. So basically what happened was, well, when filming in 1080p HD, apparently it takes up a lot of room. My SD card died in the middle of reinstalling my light bar and my battery died. So we finished everything up. I just remounted my light bar. It wasn't anything spectacular or anything. For the end part of this video, it's just gonna be putting in the parking brake on my truck and putting on the wiper blades. You know, like I said, it's just finishing up that river prep. So I just kind of wanted to jump that gap between tonight and what you already saw. Also, the other thing is update for you after driving two days with the new transmission cooler. So far I've seen a 30 to 40 degree difference, if you could believe it. 30 to 40 degrees cooler in my drive home. It is working great. I've been checking for leaks so far so good. So hopefully this next Havasu trip, it'll be great and I'll have no issues with it. So just wanted to give you guys that update. So we're gonna go ahead and get started working on the truck now.
that right there is what broke. I assume that there's usually supposed to be a cable attached to that. I'm not sure where it went. Garbage. Just so you know, when you guys do this, you do have to remove that lower fuse panel. You don't have to remove it from the vehicle, but you do have to loosen it from its bracket, remove the bracket. This sits on the inside of here. Plastic bracket right here goes like so. You have to remove two nuts located right here that you can't see. Those two nuts located right here, you take those off. This bracket slides up and out, and then you can remove the parking brake that way, take it out. Now I have to put it all back together. Yay. Whew. All right, guys, that is that. The truck is ready to go. I got the parking brake back in. I got the new wiper blades on. Oh, and I put the original dash puzzle back in. All that's taken care of. So with that being said, this is where I'm gonna end this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you wanna see more content with this truck, this Jeep, that truck, a Duramax, some jet skis, and maybe even a boat someday, who knows. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.